Today's topic is sarcoidosis. Sarcoidosis is an inflammatory disease in which tiny clumps of inflammatory cells, or granulomas, form in different parts of the body. The disease mostly begins in the lungs, skins, and lymph nodes. Less commonly affected areas are the eyes, skin, liver, heart, spleen, and brain. However, any organ can be affected. It affects men and women of all ages and races, but women have a higher incidence of sarcoidosis. Sarcoidosis often occurs between the ages of 20 and 50. African Americans are slightly more likely to develop the disease than white Americans. In some cases, the disease resolves on its own. In few cases, however, it may last for years and cause organ damage. Causes The exact cause is not known. Sarcoidosis may be triggered by your body's immune system reaction to foreign substances, such as viruses, bacteria, dust, or chemicals. The immune cells begin to gather in a pattern of inflammation called granulomas. As the granuloma build up in an organ, the function of such organ can be affected. A family history of sarcoidosis may increase your chances of developing the disease. Symptoms Symptoms may vary depending on the organs affected. General symptoms Weight loss Fever Swollen lymph nodes Fatigue Dry mouth Joint pain Nosebleeds Skin symptoms may include Skin rashes Hair loss Growths under the skin, especially around scars or tattoos Skin sore Lung symptoms may include Shortness of breath, chest pain around the breastbone, wheezing, persistent dry cough. Eye symptoms may include itchy eyes, eye pain, blurred vision, discharge from the eyes, a burning sensation in the eyes, sensitivity to light. Heart symptoms may include fainting, shortness of breath, irregular heartbeat, fatigue, palpitations. Diagnosis. Diagnosing sarcoidosis may be difficult because the disease presents few symptoms in its early stages, and such symptoms may be similar to those of other disorders, such as arthritis or cancer. Your doctor will start with a physical examination. Your doctor will carry out such physical examination to check for bumps or rash on your skin. Listen to your heart and lungs, and check for swelling in your lymph nodes. Additional diagnostic tests may be ordered based on findings. This may include a chest x-ray to check for swollen lymph nodes or lung damage, CT scan, magnetic resonance imaging or MRI, blood tests, eye exam, lung function tests, biopsy, a small sample of tissue is taken from the part of your body believed to be affected by the disease. This is done to look for granulomas that are commonly associated with the disease. Treatment No cure exists for sarcoidosis. In few cases, symptoms may resolve on its own and treatment may not be needed. In cases where symptoms are severe and organ function is threatened, medications may be recommended. Medications may include corticosteroids that help reduce inflammation, immunosuppressive medications such as methotrexate or Trexol, and azathioprine or azazan that reduces inflammation by suppressing the immune system. Hydrochloroquine for a disease to the skin. Surgery may be required where sarcoidosis has severely damaged the lungs, heart, or liver. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.